Hi, Juleika here. I'm the founder of Lantigua Williams & Co., now LWC and LWC Studios. That's me and my very first media job at Urban Latino Magazine way back in 2000. Here I am with two of the magazine's founders and a colleague. Three Colombian amigos took a chance on me right out of grad school, and I will be forever grateful. They were also onto something back then that is transforming the media landscape right now. The rise of audiences of color in digital media. I've spent the last 21 years covering this audience and making journalism that informs how they live their lives. Before starting LWC, I wrote, edited, reported, and led news desks at national magazines like Giant, Honey, Jet, The Atlantic, and at NPR. Today, LWC and LWC Studios seek out and partner with collaborators who are already speaking to the next audience in digital media. Audiences we have been cultivating for years. In fact, 36% of Latinos have listened to a podcast. That's according to the latest from Edison Research. That's 16 million Latino podcast listeners. 13% of those surveyed said they regularly listen to our Latina to Latina podcast. And another 4% said they regularly listen to our own How to Talk to Mommy and Papi About Anything. In fact, in March, we celebrated 1 million downloads for Latina to Latina. Our women of color, college-educated listeners come for inspiration, real-world advice, and to see themselves reflected in trailblazing women. Our ad partners know this, and they trust us to convey authentic, unpretentious, and relatable messages about their brands. In just four years, we've curated an unmatched collection of original shows to serve this growing and powerful audience. Hey, I'm Alicia Menendez, the host of Latina to Latina podcast. I interview people for a living. They'll tell us why they are who they are, what they've learned along the way, and make us laugh and cry and all that good stuff. Number one, you have to bet on yourself. Like, trust yourself. You're always going to get so many different points of view and people that care for you, that want you to maintain the stability and the security and the safety of it. So always trust yourself and trust your instincts. How to talk to mommy and papi about anything which tackles taboos in hyphenated American families. It would be really helpful to communicate all the stuff that you did learn from parents that you are now implementing. So oftentimes how we talked about, you know, parents will say, I hustled hard so you didn't have to, right? But from that, there's some good. And so saying, hey, I learned from you the value of hard work. I learned that to be successful, you've got to roll up your sleeves, that you've got to be dedicated, that you have to do X, you have to do Y. I'm applying those things in my profession now. Birthful, a bold and smart approach to birth and perinatal health from a Latina doula. Welcome to the Birthful Podcast. I'm Adriana Lozada. There are some really amazing and passionate birth professionals out there with tons of great information that you should know about. So you, me, and all kinds of birth junkies, put them together and you have the Birthful Podcast a show where I talk to maternity pros to inform your intuition. One of the most critical things that needs to really occur for the process of labor and birth to occur in its most unencumbered state is for someone to be in a place of physical and mental safety. You want to be safe presenting as you are. It is not a moment to have to worry about whether people are thinking about you or whether people support you or all of these things. I would just question how I would feel about going to a provider when I start to ask these questions about a birth plan and I am feeling dismissed, ignored. Feeling my flow for the young people in our lives who deserve up-to-date and usable reporting on their bodies. I'm Camila Kashani, the host of Feeling My Flow, the podcast that sees and talks about menstruation as an event that happens to all types of bodies and affects menstruators in different ways. And Our Body Politic, an NPR syndicated weekly political analysis show that features women of color changing the country. 
I'm Farai Chidea. Our Body Politic is about joining our collective wisdom to shape the future we want to live in. We'll focus on women of color as a super demographic in American politics and together uncover how we can save our own lives and our nation. You have to choose which side you're on, how courageous you're going to be, or whether you're going to dig your head in the sand and try to act like what's happening around you is not real. And so I think we're in that kind of moment. And I I don't know any other way that this country has ever right-sided itself except to go through the moments that we see. I have always been a very determined person. I do come from a culture, both in Hawaii as well as my own Japanese background, where being vocal, aggressive, confrontational are are not traits that are um, rewarded. (laughs) And so although I was very determined, I just got things done in the political arena uh, using other strategies. Latina to Latina has accrued 1.25 million lifetime downloads. Birthful has accrued 4.5 million lifetime downloads. How to Talk to Mommy and Papi About Anything has 350,000 lifetime downloads. 70 million Latina to Latina, Driving the Green Book, and Our Body Politic have all ranked in the top 100 podcasts on Apple in multiple categories. We're proud to stand out as a Peabody-nominated media company that engages gifted storytellers working in digital audio and film. With our creative and business partners, we produce original and client podcasts, documentaries, award-winning films, and other original narrative-driven works. As we grow, LWC and LWC Studios also want to serve. Last year, at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, we launched the online learning platform, Podcasting Seriously, a place for creators to gather and learn from one another while working from home and adjusting to the new normal. This year, we partnered with other industry leaders to launch the Podcasting Seriously Awards Fund. We've raised over $40,000 to cover award submission fees for independent, BIPOC, trans, and disabled audio producers. And our moms will be proud of the friends we've made along the way at places like Marvel Entertainment, Macmillan Podcast, The Globe and Mail, Phi Beta Kappa Society, and the MacArthur Foundation, which has awarded us journalism grants four years straight. Some things to know about our audience. They're largely millennial and Gen Z women. They're college educated. They're digital natives. They're early adopters and hyper-connected. They're also hyphenated, multilingual, and culturally fluid. They're connectors, and they're also bridges, generational ones. And they love podcasts. How do we know all this? Because we survey them every year. And we're also a sponsor on the annual U.S. Latino Podcast Listener Study from Edison Research. Lastly, I want to introduce you to the real stars of the show, our core LWC Studios team. This is Jen, our executive editor, who oversees daily operations and keeps the whole ship on course. This is Cedric, our lead producer, who sound designs across original and client shows and raises our bar every episode. This is Paulina, a senior producer who runs Our Body Politic and Birthful and supports other shows. This is Manuela, our ad apps lead and social media editor, who connects us to our trusted ad partners and our beloved audiences. This is Kojin, associate sound designer who composes, mixes, engineers, and generally makes us sound fresh and smart. This is Sarah a senior producer on Our Body Politic, Latina to Latina, and a couple of other shows. And this is Jimmy, our managing editor, who keeps the gears turning and also runs client shows. The whole LWC and LWC Studios team is excited to meet you. Let's connect and figure out how we can play, collaborate, and create together. Thanks for watching.